Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mr. Blockchain22 here again on a Saturday morning. Um, just looking at the price of XTC right now, um, this video is going to be about XTC and uh, some of the news that came out in the past couple of days. I uh, do want to mention, um, there is a tweet that we're going to, actually I'm going to read to you guys, but Looking at the price, um, it's been fluctuating between um, seven and eight cents. It almost touched eight cents, and we are retracing a bit, still in the seven cent range. So let's move on with the uh, news that came out. So BitFi is a hardware wallet um, company, and they partnered with XTC Network to deploy advanced security capabilities for the institutional XTC blockchain protocol. This, uh, the news came out April 8th, and um, I'm gonna read this real quick. Uh, today, the announcement uh, announced the imminent deployment of advanced security features for the XTC protocol and digital asset to extend the protocol security to the user interface and private key management. As part of the integration, support for XTC is being added to the BitFi2 hardware wallet. Installation of BitFi's proprietary single factor authentication for XTC web application and single factor authentication for master node security. This is what caught my eye. As, as you guys know, I'm running that, an XTC master node, and this is going to be integrated soon to provide greater security to node holders. Um, the XTC protocol is the only permission fully institutional compliant blockchain protocol that can integrate with financial institutions legacy systems, seamlessly bridging legacy systems with blockchain capabilities. XTC is ISO 20022 compliant with advanced smart contract capabilities and is fully inoperable with Ethereum. XTC is supplying a critical solution to institutions that now face rapid fintech disruption and may not survive without adapting to this reality. Although there is an alarming need to deploy blockchain capabilities, institutions are also met with complex and daunting regulatory compliance requirements impeding progress. XTC greatly exceeds the capabilities and other institutional blockchains that provide payment settlement and was developed to meet regulatory requirements on one day on day one, enabling accelerated deployment. XTC is currently in use by institutions and is expected to grow, here again, is expected to grow rapidly within the largest and most liquid market in the world. I cannot tell you how excited I am about the growth that XTC is showing, the partnerships that are coming up, and just to think about the price just back in January when I started, um, when I, I did the, the the majority of my accumulation for XTC, the price was under a cent, was half a cent. Now we're looking at seven cents, possibly touching 10 cents, hopefully this month. The, the utilization of the XTC protocol is features, and its features will be supported by BitFi2 proprietary technology to ensure the highest possible security for me institutional users and master node operators. A single XTC node requires 10 million staked XTC, currently valued at 600,000 US dollars per capital of capital to operate. Actually, that price has gone up now. So 10 million at seven cents or higher, it's, you know, 700,000 for. So for every cent that goes up, a master node goes up $100,000. And the cost is expected to increase in the near future. As such, XDC node operators are a target for criminals, cyber criminals, and are susceptible to physical attacks. This integration effectively eliminates these risks. For institutional use, conventional cold storage wallet solutions are inadequate. Cold storage technologies pro protect assets from cyber attacks, but uses most closely guard physical hardware. Access to cold storage devices allows private key extraction with forensic tools. BitFi2 technology addresses all vector attacks by using computational key derivation without the need to store private keys 
or any data in memory. The necessary the necessary private key is calculated at time of transaction and is then instantly wiped. Overwritten in hardware is formatted to its original state. This technology was developed by BitFi and is the only such solution available. The single factor authentication technology allows ultra secure, secure access to servers and web applications without the need for passwords. When access is needed, BitFi2 receives a request and the user enters the user-created salt and phrase, which is used as input to calculate a private key. The private key validates the public key on the server and the user is given instant access. For institutional users, this solves the age-old problem of unauthorized access. Since access is cryptographically signed, there is no need to verify the need to perform follow-up checks to see if login was performed by authorized users or someone else. So needless to say, I went to check out their web page and uh, I was very, very impressed with the technology that they're developing. Um, one of, one um, couple of things I wanted to mention are the no private keys, native interface, open source this is very important because anybody can look at their code and see what the code is doing uh, if you're in uh, the cybersecurity uh, realm you know that this is very important when looking at uh, software especially if you're going to run a software on your network or you know at home if you're doing things with it so open source you're able to look at the code and verify that it's not reaching out to uh, IP addresses or locations that are known to have malicious content and things like that. So open source is really, really good. Uh, locked bootloader. Bit 2 features a locked bootloader rendering code injection futile either via, via a data port or via physical access to circuit board. Um, the no private keys, uh, this is uh, According to them, this is the world's only wallet that doesn't have private keys, making it impossible to seize, lose, or steal. BitFi is pure consciousness. So needless to say, I went and bought the wallet. I actually purchased it right before I uh, started making the, the video for today. Um, I reached out to them because you know th they had the BitFi 2. But I didn't know if there was a prior one to this one. And I wanted to ensure that the one that they're advertising on the website was the one I was getting. So they responded uh, shortly with, I want to say within a couple hours. And uh, yeah, so I verified that the Bit52 is the one that's being advertised on the website. So I went and purchased it. And when it gets fully integrated with the master nodes, I'll be changing the way I log into my wallet on my master node. Um, there was a tweet from BitFi. Uh, this was yesterday, 3.40 p.m. my time. I do want to read this because there's a lot of tribalism in crypto. Um, there's a lot of my coin is better than yours, and this one is going to kill such and such blockchain. Look, we are in a very, very early stage of blockchain. Uh, I get that we've been, some of us have been in, in crypto since, you know, 2013, 17, you know, 2009, for those that, that are millionaires now with Bitcoin. But the thing is, technology evolves. And yes, some are going to possibly disappear. Some are going to excel and become the best you know the biggest thing out there so for the moment i think yelling and screaming saying that my coin is better than yours and i think this is gonna kill such and such it's just you know pure bs we don't know that and the the reason that i, I believe that those that you with those blockchains those platforms those projects with utility are the ones that are going to excel above the others i'm not saying the other ones are not you know are gonna go away i'm not saying that they're gonna fail because you know it, it's it's all business and they're all trying to survive and make it and become 
the best thing out there. So let me read the uh, Bitfi tweet from yesterday. In this post, we will provide a brief overview in XDC so there's greater understanding of what it is. But first, we want to clarify that what it isn't. The cryptocurrency landscape is re replete with hype and wild claims. There is no such thing as better Bitcoin and there is no Ethereum killer. Those making such claims either do not fully understand the scope of these assets or are trying to intentionally mislead to profit of new market participants. And I agree 100% with this. I've seen a lot of people even jokingly saying, oh, I sold all my coins and um, there are people that have a lot of followers and they don't know how to interpret those tweets and they follow what these people are saying and they're making huge mistakes and possibly losing a lot of money in the process. XDC that was developed by Synfin, a team of developers based in Singapore, is addressing a critical need. Buying and holding XDC is completely unrelated to Bitcoin or any other digital asset. It is, a different, it is as different as investing in real estate and buying Google shares. As you can pr probably imagine, in corporate land boardrooms or institutions around the world, the fear is palpable. They are facing mass extinction, even due to unprecedented technological disruption. If you ever use DeFi protocols, the written on the walls is obvious. It is difficult to see a future in which anyone will need a bank account or any bank services at all. This is an adapt or die environment for traditional finance. Hence, there is a very clear and urgent need to bridge legacy systems with the capabilities of blockchain and smart contract protocols to remain relevant and to offer customers completely frictionless, instant, and cost-effective services. However, institutions also cannot use public protocols because some data must be kept private. For this reason, XTC is a permissioned protocol allowing a private chain to run along with the permissionless decentralized chain. And that probability allows centralized components of an institution to work seamlessly with a decentralized blockchain, any smart contract developed for Ethereum can run on XTC. Again, any smart contract developed for Ethereum can run on XTC, allowing for the most sophisticated DeFi feature while the private chain prevents sensitive private data from leaking from inside the organization. This makes XDC a consortium blockchain where anyone can participate in the public blockchain, whereas the private chain is accessible to only authorized individuals. XDC nodes that validate transactions require significant investment to operate and penalize anyone who tries to compromise the network via smart contract, although it is fully Ethereum compatible and uses solid solidity for programming, XDC transactions fees are 99% lower. Um, so the it continues and it talks about the various banks that run on swift more efficiently and was built in with this environment in november 2020 report the world trade organization described xdc as a network of networks that includes participants like validus and nego ramco itfa and woa finally the use of bitfi2 technology is the final step to ensure that interactions with this protocol is secure due to Bitfi's innovative security and track record as the only wallet where no user has ever experienced a loss due to a hack or exploit. As you can see, XTC is completely unrelated to Bitcoin and other digital assets and it's not attempting to compete with any of them. So, I fully agree with this tweet. So, if you're if you're new to if you're new in the space and you're looking at what blockchain to invest on, please 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 do your own research. Do not invest on something you do not understand. Spend the time to research and not follow what other people are buying because you don't know if they even you know research. So. They might be even just, you know, some people are even getting paid in the space to promote certain coins, you know, and they're not even they're not even holding those coins. Um, anything that I talk about on this channel, 
either I own or hold or experience myself. So I'm, I'm, I won't be shilling anything to you. All I'm doing is trying to bring you information that I come across that I find important and that I am fully invested on. So as you know, I've, I've run a master node. So this uh, integration of Bit5, you know, hardware wallet is is huge for me, and 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 it's gonna provide me a better security for uh, my master node and my wallet. So there it is. Um, this is all I wanted to talk about, guys and gals. Thank you very much for uh, subscribing to my channel. In just a short week, I have increased my uh, subscribers. And I really appreciate those on Twitter that are sharing my my videos and uh, talking about it. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you can also follow me on Twitter at Sal underscore XRPatriot. And please uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.